My parents were very politically active and engaged in their community. I saw their actions, their values, and their modeling, and I think that helped translate to me into an expectation and a desire to contribute to the community. My, uh, I was a community organizer for several years after college in Chicago, and I learned at that time that there were not enough attorneys for representing the low-income community. I made a decision I wanted to get a law degree, and I wanted to use it as a tool to improve outcomes and work with the low-income community. I was given the opportunity 25 years ago to create an education team to identify priorities, strategies for advocacy, and to really figure out what could lawyers do to improve outcomes for kids in school. Working and responding to the needs of students in public schools, uh, low-income students, where there are so many serious issues, disparities in disciplinary removals, we'll say, related to race or disability, uh, students who need special education services to succeed, but they're not receiving them, foster, kid, foster youth, homeless students, unaccompanied minors or immigrant youth, all of those groups and populations have rights in schools. And they're all sort of at this point within the priorities of our work. And I believe that I um, was able to make the transition into leadership in that arena because I see increasingly that uh, an effective education can open critical doors to success. I have seen the power in many instances of communication that can lead to agreed upon change. And so I like to try that first and sustain the effort if there's reason to think it might succeed. I appreciate the innovation and uh, sort of uh, openness to build programs that are responsive to the needs of the community that we are representing. That's why I'm here. Thank you. Thank you, Chrissy. In 1984, Jerry Lawson, who is present this evening and who was at that time the director of the Legal Aid Society, called me at my office in New York City and offered me a job as a staff attorney in Cincinnati. I accepted. I thought I'd come to Cincinnati for two years. <laughs> 30 years later, I am proud to call Cincinnati my home, and it turns out there is much to be done. I am energized to work with many of you to combine legal advocacy with other community services to address the stunningly high childhood poverty rate in our community. Two of our school partnerships, Kids in School Rule and Teen Child, increase school success and stability for children in the foster care and juvenile justice systems. We also have two medical legal partnerships, Child Help and M Help, in which legal advocacy is integral to promoting health and well being for children and families and pregnant women. Each of these initiatives contributes to reducing health disparities and promoting racial equity. What also stands out, I'm proud to say, is that we are bringing professionals from different fields together in innovative ways. For the past 30 years, Mary Asbury, the current director of Legal Aid, has given me tremendous opportunities to design <laughs> to design programs, launch new strategies, and pursue strategic collaboration. Tonight, 
I thank both Mary and Jerry Lawson for their confidence in me. I am fortunate to have many colleagues within Legal Aid, some of whom are here tonight, with whom I share the credit and the responsibility for exciting outcomes that we achieve. The outstanding attorneys, advocates, and others in my office contribute every day to the successes we are celebrating tonight. I also wish to thank partners in the community with whom I have the privilege of collaborating. Specifically, I'd like to call out Hamilton County Juvenile Court, Hamilton County Job and Family Services, since <laughs> Cincinnati Public Schools and Northwest Local and Cincinnati Children's Hospital. In addition, the Lighthouse Youth Services has indeed been a valuable partner to legal aid to advance shared goals and priorities, and I am proud to stand with Lighthouse. On a personal level, I gain inspiration and the best hugs and support from my growing family, our three wonderful kids, their spouses, and now two darling grandchildren. I am honored to have one of my brothers and my sister-in-law in town this evening. Bob, my husband, is my steadfast partner in all ways, every day. Decades ago, when he trained to be a physician and I trained to be an attorney, we had no idea we would become involved in overlapping arenas and in shared initiatives to promote success and well-being for vulnerable youth populations. We definitely did not dream we would share an award. I would sing, but you're all very lucky that I'm not going to do that. In closing, I would like to extend congratulations to my fellow honorees. I am humbled by tonight's honor and deeply grateful to Lighthouse and all of you present here tonight for this recognition. Thank you.